WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny and uh, somewhat humid Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 m update, and we've got a sea of green out there, at least with regard to the indices. You've got the Dow up 56, S&P about 9, 45 for the NASDAQ 100, 22 for the Russell, 41 for the semis. Trannies are up two points. New York Stock Exchange is up 50. You've got gold trading up 15 bucks. Silver's up 25 cents. Light sweet crude is back 90 cents. Natural gas is off a penny. The 30-year treasury up six ticks. She's printed out at 116.18. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We'll begin with the ES Mini upper left hand side. Well, you do have a new profile that is attempting to form. We're using Stevie's advanced Doppler tool out there. Uh, and we do know where sellers and buyers are lurking. The sellers are looking at the 5264 level. Buyers are between 5181 and 5198. Now, no guarantee that this profile is going to take hold at day's end. But as we speak right now, uh, this is where buyers and sellers are positioned. You'll see there's an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. That needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top. If we take a look at the, the spot volatilities, it still is continuing to rise, still below its 50-day exponential moving average. But if it does close above 1463, that would be a sell signal for the S&P 500. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ actually ticked above yesterday's high. The day before, I can't remember, I think the day before was the higher high, and that triggers bar number eight of a TD9 count. So there's a possibility that we get a TD9 count top inside the NQ come tomorrow. Uh, the S&P 500, the ES Mini's got a tick above its high from yesterday in order for that same pattern to potentially form. U.S. dollar index, don't expect this to do a whole lot. You've got that new profile that formed within the prior profile. That says just simply get ready for a consolidation pattern. Right now, you've got the uh, U.S. dollar index testing the bottom of that daily profile at the 104.80 level. And even if it closes below that, you still have a sideways consolidation pattern. If we take a look at Goldilocks, it's really doing the same thing. It is trading above right now the center of its daily and weekly profile it's hinting to you and i that it wants to go target that 24 20 level silver wants to go target the top of its weekly profile and that's at 29.51 light speed crude it's got that by the d point bottom but uh, in consolidating with inside its daily profiles resistance up at 80 31 and a uh, support is where we're trading right now at the 78 22 ish level the case of natural gas today will become bar number nine of a td9 count top that says you should have a top that forms well it either formed yesterday or it could form tomorrow with a higher high in the 30-year treasury still just consolidating in that uh, very narrow trading range between its profile support at 115 14 and resistance up at 116 27. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Zed Show, if you would, but if you're still off to start your Tuesday, have a terrific one, and be safe out there. Take care.